Hello everyone, we are from True Maths and in this video we are going to solve question number 4 of exercise 8.1 and the question says you have to show that the diagonals of a square are equal and bisect each other at right angle. So there are three parts to this question. The first is you have to prove that the diagonals of a square are equal. Second, it, the diagonals of a square bisect each other. And the third, the diagonals of a square bisect at right angles. Now these are three things which you have to prove. In the first case, if this is AB, CD is a square and we know that square is a closed four sided figure where all four sides are of equal length and all angles are of 90 degrees. So in the first case what you have to prove that the diagonals of this square are equal. You know what are diagonals? If I join the opposite vertices means the opposite points so this is a, the first diagonal so we have to prove that this diagonal here is equal to this one so we have to prove here that AC is equal to DB this we have to prove now how to do that this diagonal which is DB which is in triangle ADB this one so we have to prove that this triangle having this side is congruent to this triangle this one this one ABC having this AC side so if you are able to prove that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DAB so by CPCT, obviously this will be equal. So this is the first part. Now for Alex, Alex on this first part, then we'll shift to the second one. Now in triangle, the first is ABD, ABD and triangle. The second one is ABC. In these two triangles, you have to prove that these two are congruent. And the first case, this side is common for this triangle this and this is also same as in this triangle so this is same for both the triangles so AB will be equals to AB this is common side actually if you want to prove that two triangles are congruent you have to prove certain things in two triangles and those certain things you know very well that if you are able to prove that three sides of a triangle is they are equal to the other three sides of the second triangle if these if this condition is proved that those two triangles must be congruent and that is known as SSS property where you are proving that all three sides of this first triangle are equal to all three sides of this second triangle. So in that case, both triangles will be congruent. So this is the first property. Second is side, angle, side. Third is angle, angle, side. And fourth is RHS. Similarly, here you have to prove that two sides and one angle of one triangle is equal to two sides and one angle of this second triangle. And here we use this property. This is RHS. And RHS means in a right angle triangle, this is ABD. This is ABD, this triangle. In this right angle triangle, because here this angle is equal to 90 degree. And the second one is, this is ABC, this one. So this is A, B, 
C. Again, this is a right angle triangle because this angle should be 90 degree in this square. Now, to prove that these two triangles are congruent, you have to prove this property which is RHS. That is a right angle, hypotenuse and any side. So you have to prove that in this triangle and in this triangle, one right angle is equal, hypotenuse are equal and any side is equal. So this right angle is equal to this right angle in these two triangles. Okay, uh, sorry, here RHSs won't work. What you have to do is, you have to use this one. Side angle side. How? One angle is equal, this angle and this angle is equal, both are of 90 degree. This side and this side is same. Here it is AB, here also it is AB. So this is common for both the triangles. So this is same. So angle is same, side is same and the second one is this one. AD must be equal to BC. Why? Opposites are uh, all equal sides in a square. So side, angle and this side are equal. So by side angle side, these two triangles are congruent. So here we won't use RHS because hypotenuse is not given equal here. So same thing is applied here in triangle ABD which is ABD this one and ABB. A, B, B, C, sorry, and these two triangles are basically these two triangles. I have made these separate to visualize it better. The first is AB is AB in common, and angle A is equal to angle B, both right angle or both is equal to 90 degree. And the third thing is this AD is equal to this BC. So AD will be equal to BC. This is equal sides of square. So by angle, side, angle, these two triangles which are ABD is congruent to triangle ABC. So these two triangles will become congruent by side angle side property and if these two triangles are congruent so obviously three parts of this triangle are equal to three parts of this triangle that is side angle and side and side angle and side so obviously by CPCT the remaining three parts must also be equal and what are the remaining this angle must be equal to this angle this angle must be equal to this angle and this side must be equal to this side. So these will be automatically will become equal by CPCT. So obviously this DB will be equal to this AC. Same thing which we have to prove here. So by CPCT AC will be equal to DB. This is by CPCT. The full form of CPCT is corresponding part of congruent triangle means the remaining part of congruent triangle you can remember this by that the second part here is you have to prove that the diagonal of this uh, square bisect each other now what does that mean this is the first diagonal and this is the second diagonal bisecting means these two are intersecting at O. This is the point of inter intersection. And bisecting means these, this point divide this line or this diagonal into two equal parts. Means this is, is equal to this. And similarly, this is equal to this. You have to prove this. For that, what you have to do is, you have to prove that this triangle that is AOD is equal to triangle uh, is congruent to triangle OCB because 
these two are this, uh, these two are the uh, sides containing this triangle and these are the sides which contain by this triangle so if you are able to prove that these two triangles are congruent so automatically this will be, will be equal to this this side of this triangle will be equal to this side and this will be equal to this side now in triangle this is AOD and triangle BOC in this case you have to prove that these two triangles are congruent again what we have to do is this side is equal to this side because equal sides of square so these two sides must be equal and there is another property that the opposite sides of a square are parallel so if these two are parallel so obviously this angle must be equal to this angle these are alternate angles if these two lines are parallel and this is a transversal so obviously this angle must be equal to this angle these two known as alternate angles because these are forming z here okay so this angle must be equal to this angle similarly this angle must be equal to this angle so by angle side angle these two triangles will become congruent so AD will be this angle D is equal to angle B alternate angle similarly angle A is equal to angle C these are also alternate angles now by angle side angle these two triangles will be congruent and if these two triangles are congruent by CPCD I can state that this side is equal to this side and this side is equal to this side now by this we have proved that triangle AOD is congruent to triangle BOC because side angle angle so by angle angle side you are able to prove that this triangle is congruent to this triangle so triangle AOD is congruent to triangle BOC okay and if these two triangles are congruent then by virtue of CPCD we can confirm that this side of this triangle will be equal to this side of this triangle and this side of this triangle will be equal to this side of this triangle so DO will be equal to OB and AO will be equal to this OC and this is what we have to prove that the diagonal of a square bisect each other means diagonals of a square intersect at a point and this point divide this diagonal into two equal parts means this point divides both the diagonals in two equal parts okay now this is the second part you need to prove here that the square are equal and bisect each other the diagonal bisect each other and the third part is you have to prove that these also bisect at right angle means the where these two lines intersect the angle formed by these two lines is equal to 90 degree now how to do that what I do is obviously this is a straight line and on a straight line we know that the sum of on a straight line the sum of all the angles equals to 180 degree so if this is x and this is y obviously x plus y will be equal to 180 degrees and if I am able to prove that the angle x and angle y are equal means if instead of y I can write it as angle x so 2x will be equal to 180 and similarly x will be equal to 90 degree divide this equation by 2 
So what I have to prove that that angle X equals to angle Y. You have to prove that this angle is equals to this angle. And how to do that? I have to prove that this triangle that is AOD containing angle X is congruent to triangle DOC. And if these two triangles are congruent, so by virtue of CPCP, this angle will be equal to this angle. Now, how to do that? AD of this triangle will be equal to DC of this triangle. These are the equal sides of square. This will be common side and this will be equal to this which we have proved that AO equals to OC diagonal bisect each other so by side 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 by SSS we can prove that these two triangles are congruent so in triangle ADO and triangle DOC first of all AD is equals to DC this is equal sides of square. Second one is DO is equals to DO that is common side. And the third is AO is equals to OC. This we have proved. So by side 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 we can say that triangle ADO is congruent to triangle DOC. This is by side 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 property. Now, if these two triangles are congruent, so by virtue of CPCT, this angle will be equal to this angle. So I can say that therefore angle X will be equal to angle Y. This is by CPCT. And we know that X plus Y will be equal to 180 degree. You can mention the reason here because AC is a straight line, anonymous straight line, angled form are linear, they form linear pair, means the sum of angles is equal to 180 degree. So that will be equal to 180 degree. And we know that angle X and angle Y are equal. So instead of Y, I can write X. So angle X plus X will be equal to 180 degree. 2X will be equal to 180 degree. And further solving this, if I have to find the value of x, I have to shift that 2 to that side and shifting that side, it should divide. So, the value of x will be 90 degree. Now, if this angle is equal to 90 degree, obviously this must also be 90 degree because these two are same. Similarly, this is a straight line and if this is 90, this must also be 90 degree and if this is 90, this must also be 90 degree all the angles are 90 degrees. So that is how we can prove that. The first part we have proved that the diagonals of a square are equal. In the second part we have proved that they bisect each other and in the third part we have proved that they bisect each other at right angle. Means the angle formed by these two diagonals is equal to 90 degree. So this is how you can prove uh, this particular question. I hope you have understood how to solve this. Still, if you have any problem, you can directly contact to us. The phone number, the email address and the WhatsApp number is given below in the description. Thank you.